What if you could upgrade your body like you upgrade your smartphone? AI-enhanced limbs, neural chips, and even artificial muscles are bringing us closer to a world where you can literally pre-order your next body part. Always at the forefront of innovation, the neurotechnology company under the same name, Neuralink Corp, has developed an implantable device that aims to facilitate direct communication between the brain and external devices. In other words, they're working on a groundbreaking experiment that will let humans control devices like their phone and computers with just their mind. Sounds pretty insane. Despite other companies working on perfecting brain-computer interface technology, there's no denying that Neuralink is a prominent player. For instance, they're one of the few companies that can brag of passing successful human trials. After getting FDA approval in their second human trial, they were able to beat the previously held world records for brain-computer interface control. Within five minutes of learning, their second participant, Alex, was able to control his cursor, and on day two he could use complex design software to create 3D objects. As a former automotive technician, Alex reported that, I'm already super impressed with how this works. The link is a big step on the path of regaining my freedom and independence for myself. Although Neuralink isn't keen on letting the public and their competition know the full details of how their technology works, from public records and interviews we do have a rough idea. Basically, their team inserts a low-power, battery-powered chip in the brain that's able to convert information from the neurons in your brain into binary code the computer can interpret. The most astounding part of this experiment is that the Neuralink chips possess electrodes that can stimulate those neurons back, providing instructions for the body or wirelessly communicating with an application outside your body. That's how, with a single thought, you can control your computer's cursor, type, or even control a prosthetic limb. If you're interested interested in participating in their trials, you can sign up on their website by joining their patient registry. Another invention shifting us closer to being human-AI hybrids is Smart Arm. Unlike other prosthetic arms that are typically for aesthetics with little to no function, this prosthetic arm utilizes AI to enhance functionality and user experience. With a sleek, five-digit design and an inbuilt camera, this bionic arm is capable of modulating its grip when a user wants to pick up an object. For example, if you're grocery shopping and want to grab a bottle of water, all you have to do is reach out for the item, and when the camera dictates the action you're about to carry out, it'll respond by using a power grip to hold it. On the other hand, if you want something small like a cube of sugar, Smart Arm will configure itself into a pincer grip to pick it up with more precision. What's truly revolutionary about Smart Arm is that the intuitive grasp is seamless and doesn't require significant forethought, just like with your real hands. According to one of the co-founders, Evan Neff, what we're building is one of the most intimate forms of technology that one could possibly think of. It's going to be worn by somebody almost on a daily basis and enables a whole new level of autonomy in their day-to-day -day lives. So we really need to ensure that every piece of hardware and software development that we put into this arm is of the highest quality. Obviously, the team at Covey share that sentiment too, which is why they're building the self-acclaimed world-leading bionic hand. Thanks to their user-centric philosophy, the company has put a lot of thought into programming their bionic hands with over 24 grip patterns suitable for users in different fields. In other words, if you're an artist, you could easily use the pincer grip to keep painting. Or if you're a bodybuilder, you could continue training with a power grip that can lift up to 70 pounds. There's even a mouse grip for users with a desk job. Thus, the Covey hand offers higher levels of adaptability than most other AI prosthetics. This advanced bionic hand also offers intuitive control with 11 grip switch triggers and three inputs that allow you to switch grips with ease. You can tell the team put a lot of thought into their invention because the index finger even comes pre-coated with a special material that makes it compatible with touch screens. That means you can keep it on while operating your phone, truly delivering a highly functional experience to people living with limb differences. But what if a prosthetic arm could do more than just grasp objects? What if it could feel too? Cleveland Clinic researchers are pushing human AI technology to the edge with a bionic arm that not only moves intuitively, but can also feel sensations like movement and touch. This invention goes beyond using external sensors or triggers to help people with limb differences. It's a two-way feedback chain that can also provide users with feedback. For instance, when you want to grab a cup, 
After spotting it with your eyes, you can look away absentmindedly while your hand reaches for it. When your hand makes contact with something ceramic, it sends signals to your brain which then responds by instructing your fingers to grab it. On the other hand, people with artificial limbs often lack that feedback loop. That means that they have to keep their eyes on the item to ensure the prosthetic performs the right task. But this prosthetic arm integrates advanced technology to provide users with movement and sensory feedback allowing their participants to function like people with natural hands. Speaking of natural hands, Clone Robotics is working on developing AI-powered prosthetic hands that can mimic human dexterity. It's one thing to create intuitive prosthetic hands that humans can use, and another to replicate the same process in autonomous AI. However, using biomimetic technology, Clone Robotics is breaking boundaries. In other words, instead of using the standard pneumatic system, they adopted pressurized fluid in the robot's cylinder cylinders to control its internal pistons. As a result, this approach creates a seamless motion that mimics a human hand. Combining these hydraulic systems with sensors also allows it to gauge how much pressure it exerts, enabling it to perform complex and delicate movements just like humans. At the same time, hydraulic muscles can also exert high levels of force consistently, giving them an edge in lifting heavy loads compared to a human hand. In the future, these robot-powered hands could help people complete common problems in daily life or even perform complex tasks like neurosurgeries. With bi-manual training in progress and the company announcing that they've already taken their first 279 pre-order units, we could see this biomimetic hand on the market sooner than you think. If you head over to the company's website, you'll even see a carousel of the robot hand performing fine movements like thumb abduction and adduction and flexing its fingers one by one. As impressive as Clone Robotics' hand is for its human-like movement and muscles, Japanese researchers from the University of Tokyo are trying to replicate it on a much larger scale. For context, their biohybrid hand is a whopping 18 centimeters in length, where most devices are typically one centimeter long. However, this invention is innovative for more than its bulky frame. It's also capable of performing complex movements, like forming a scissors gesture. Of course, on the surface, that might sound simple, but bioengineers know it's a complicated feat that requires multiple joints and muscles working in sync. Thus, to achieve this high-level performance, the researchers attached thin strings of lab-grown muscle tissue to the multi-joint biohybrid hand, which gave the fingers enough strength to contract. Also called multiple muscle tissue actuators, mumutas, these synthetic muscles would undoubtedly serve as the building blocks for bio hybrid prosthetics. Besides creating a scissors gesture and other experiments, the robot hand was also able to move an object. On one occasion, it grasped the tip of a pipette and moved it on command. Unfortunately, because the biohybrid hand uses real muscle tissues, it also experiences fatigue, just like you would after a workout at the gym. After only 10 minutes of electrical stimulation, the force in this robotic hand tends to significantly drop and requires almost an hour to rest. Still, the team is optimistic that with further experiments, they can improve its performance and shorten the downtime. It's one thing to create lab-grown tissues to move a robot hand, but what about 3D organs that could replace natural ones? In June 2022, 3D Biotherapeutics shook the medical and technological world when they collected cell samples from a patient during a clinical trial. They then used it to print and implant a new ear for the patient. Unlike prosthetic arms that are made of silicone, 3D printed organs would carry your unique DNA, even though they're completely synthesized in a lab. It would be a lot like replacing a dead battery in a watch and having the new battery become an essential part of the watch. That means this technology could potentially extend our lifespans indefinitely. After all, organ failure is an unfortunate aspect of aging, but with the ability to print a brand new internal organ, we could delay the inevitable longer. And with organs made of bio-ink and other materials, materials integrating into our bodies, we may become enhanced humans. When 3D printing technology stepped into the scene in the 2000s, it became easier for robots to create more complex structures, like building components, vehicle parts, and even bigger robots. As a result, modern manufacturing companies now use this technology to make prototypes of new products and create custom tools for their inventories. Also, in aerospace and the automotive industry, 3D printers create lightweight spare parts. However, 
researchers at MIT are taking this concept a step further by automating the process and combining it with robotic parts that can assemble the printed components. In other words, they're building robots that could create a fully functional race car, a new airplane wing, or even another robot without human input. As a result, these fully autonomous, self-replicating printers and assembly systems could completely change our entire construction and automobile industries. As even in healthcare, 3D printing helps surgeons practice complex procedures on three-dimensional models of a patient's organ. However, the process is incredibly complex and still in the works. Advancements in bioengineering aren't limited to making us enhanced humans by changing our internal organs. It also extends to our external structure, like with Cyberdyne's exoskeletons. While the Covey hand and smart arm help people with limited functionality in their upper limbs, this wearable cyborg is more appropriate for people with lower limb disorders. Also known as a hybrid assistive limb, HAL for short, it's a robotic suit users can strap on and used to walk. As a result, it can help people with neurological conditions like stroke or cerebral palsy relearn normal walking patterns. This can go a long way in improving their quality of life. To that end, the exoskeleton is easily adjustable to fit individuals with different proportions, making it comfortable for all users. However, the best part about the HAL system has to be that it is controllable with only the user's intent. Its non-invasive sensors are capable of detecting faint bioelectrical signals on the wearer's skin skin, which it then sends to the motor component to generate voluntary movement. In other words, you can control the exoskeleton with your thoughts, which can significantly improve independence. That synergy between human and machine further blurring the line between us. Some other companies are working on far less invasive methods for hands-free control of your computer with only a cap. This process requires participants to wear a cap with electrodes that can measure brain activity when they make contact with your scalp. If you've ever had an EEG test, then you know what I'm talking about here. Except when these electrodes detect brain signals, they don't just record it down, they pass it on to a special software that can translate the signals into commands for external devices like your computer cursor or phone. But that's just the beginning. In 2017, Neurable made waves for creating the world's first mind-controlled virtual reality game at the SIGGRAPH conference. After strapping on a futuristic headset, set complete with seven electrodes, participants were able to telepathically control their game avatar in simple real-world games. Following the success of their demo, Neurable raised $6 million in 2019 toward funding further experiments in brain-computer interfaces. All those funds went into producing the MW75 Neuro, brain-computer interface headphones with the ability to track your focus. And before you ask, yes, there's more to these $650 headphones that can help you concentrate than just their noise-canceling feature. With AI-powered EEG sensors in the ear pads, they can easily capture brain signals and track which activities help you focus or those that distract you. As a result, it can help you reduce burnout by sending alerts to your app when it's time to take a break. You'd essentially be tracking your brain on your device. So which of these amazing inventions do you think would have the biggest impact on our society? Is it being able to link our brains with computers or is essentially becoming telekinetic by controlling prosthetic limbs. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section.